Welcome. In this video, we will talk about such an important component of volume analysis as hidden trades. Its idea is to realize usually large volume outside the exchange auction, hiding the real volume of the trade in DOM and not attracting the crowd's attention. And the Volfix platform allows you to track and analyze these trades. The problem is that the CME exchange does not publish the prices of hidden trades, only their volume and time, so we cannot filter them on the cluster chart. Only through the lower histogram, setup, limit, hidden volume. At the same time, NYSC and NASDAQ, where ETFs on S&P 500 and NASDAQ futures are traded, publish the prices of hidden trades. ETFs entirely repeat the dynamics of S&P and NQ futures movement, but are traded as regular stocks. By analyzing ETF and futures simultaneously, we get additional information that most market participants do not possess. Learn more about ETFs and how they can be used in futures trading in the video at the link in the description. So, SPY is an ETF on the S&P 500 index, and QQQ, or Triple Q, is an ETF on the NASDAQ index. Their key advantage is that on ETFs, we can set up limits for the cluster chart separately for hidden trades, while the CME exchange does not allow us to do that. So, go to Setup, Limit, Hidden Volume. I have already set up the limit for hidden ticks, which will be displayed on the chart in pink color. The button on the control panel, Hidden Ticks, activates the hidden volume on the chart. Experience shows that the pricing occurs exactly on ETFs, i.e. on SPY, if we take the S&P 500 futures. Therefore, it makes sense to analyze exactly the ETF and give it preference. As we can see from the lower histogram, there is much more hidden volume than regular ones. This information gives us real advantages on the market when we trade futures and analyze ETFs on the index. So at the top of the screen, I have the S&P 500 futures and SPY. At the bottom of the screen, I have the NQ futures and triple Q. Let's look at last week to see how the hidden volume on SPY worked out and whether it gave us any important information. As a disclaimer, we notice that we will not discuss hidden volume strategies, entry points, and other things in this video. The purpose of this video is to show that hidden volume is important and affects the market and we will talk about possible strategies and entry points in the next videos. So, let's take the SPY chart from last week and see what the hidden trades gave us. Let me remind you that I have them displayed in pink. As a rule, hidden volume often appears at local extremes, particularly at market open. Right after the open, we see hidden volume. Exactly from here, we make a good upside move. And then from this point, we worked out this level twice in short. And another important point, hidden volume can be at any price. It means that two market participants made a deal at an agreed price, even far from the current market price, and such a hidden trade can be displayed anywhere on the chart. We can mark this level as an interesting level for large capital. Then we again see the hidden volume shown up at this price, which tells us that this level should be paid attention to. Next, before the market close, the price broke through this level and retested it. Here we again see the hidden volume and the price went up from this price zone, giving a small gain at the close. And later, 
we again had a hidden volume at the close and post market. And we move on to the next session. We see that the hidden volume is already near this important price. We also had hidden volume again near the local high, and after that, the price slumped. We can see the hidden volume on consolidation, which first worked out in short and then in long as mirror level. Note how tight and long the consolidation was in this price zone. It was a hidden volume on the pullback at this point. Moreover, there was a large regular volume here. And again, before market closed from this point, the price rebounded just like in the previous session but gave a much more significant movement. And notice how much hidden volume was traded at the price of 420.2. This price is likely interesting for big capital and something interesting will happen there. Let's mark this price and see what happens in the next session. Again, the hidden volume at the open. From here, we fall. And again, we see hidden volume on the pullback, after which a new high was made. What conclusion can be drawn from these two sessions? After the hidden volume is knocked out, the market often reverses and goes in the opposite direction. Later in this session, price retested the level with massive hidden volume. We see that the market tried to hold it. We see regular volume, but the price breaks the level and consolidates above that level for a few minutes. Moreover, we have a volume during consolidation. And most likely, there was a safe and calm entry point on the one minute or tick chart. And then a strong move from this point. We would have never paid attention to this price if we didn't have the SPY chart. This is exactly what hidden volume gives us. It's an attempt to look behind the scenes. It's a real huge advantage in trading. Coming up next, it's Friday. Again, volume at the market open. From this point, we then bounced back. Volume on the pullback that holds the price. Hidden volume on the session highs and an attempt to hold it. Then a pullback and again hidden volume on the pullback near session close. And, as in the previous sessions, SPY gives a good movement near market close after hidden volume came into the market. This was the third time during the week when we knocked out the hidden volume on the correction before the close and gained a couple of points. That's the pattern. And today's session. We can see this level right away. We can see how much hidden volume was traded. And namely, from this point, we had a strong upward movement of almost half a percent. And we also see the hidden volume at this price and how it was worked out. And here you see again hidden volume near session high. We also pay attention to horizontal histogram built solely on hidden volume. Go to the histogram settings, setup, Studies, Horizontal Histogram. In the Type field, choose Hidden Ticks. Let's color it pink. And we can see the side histogram built solely on hidden trades. And this price is one of the key prices at the moment. And if we come back here on the retest, we can look for an entry point on the lower time frames. And if we zoom in on the chart, we can see how much more hidden volume is traded than regular volume. We can see the maximum volume on hidden ticks, 22 million shares. 
whereas we have only 342,000 regular volumes. So, by analyzing ETF and futures simultaneously, we get a huge advantage over other market participants. We can see the largest trades, and we can see at what price they took place. Based on this, your trading can be much more effective. If you have any questions about this functionality, please get in touch with our technical support by the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention, and have a nice day.